the joys of Japanese cuisine. Osaka style okonomiyaki in nine easy steps by Donald Ash. Hey guys, this is Donald with the JapanGuy.com, and today we are talking about Japan's savory pancake, okonomiyaki. And that is Japanese cuisine at its finest. So today, we're at an okonomiyaki-ya, or an okonomiyaki shop, and what you're looking at in this photo is a teipan, or an iron hot plate that's used to cook okonomiyaki. And as with most cultures here in Japan, something magical happens when people start cooking around something hot. You know, barbecues are really popular in America. Well, they're popular here too, but this is another way that people socialize over a piping hot teipan. So we're going to look at how to make okonomiyaki, and we're not going to waste any time. So let's get right to it. This isn't your typical okonomiyaki. This is a seafood style of okonomiyaki, and it's really good, but it includes everything from shrimp to scallops to carrots to onions and even rice puffs. But if we're just thinking about your typical Osaka-style okonomiyaki, it generally includes some form of batter, some type of meat, and a mixture of vegetables. Just think of it that way, okay? And if you're trying to make this on your own, please don't use regular pancake mix because I really think you're gonna get a different result. Okay, so let's make Osaka-style okonomiyaki. Step one, you'll stir and mix your ingredients. Step two, we're going to oil our teipan. Step three, you want to use your spatulas to spread the oil evenly over the teipan because you want to have even heating while you're cooking your okonomiyaki. And now we're ready to cook. Step four, you'll pour your ingredients onto the oil teipan. Step five, I don't know if this is a verb, but you want to pancake your ingredients, or at least shape them into a pancake, okay? And you can flatten them and make them as thin or as thick as you'd like them to be. Step six, you want to flip that mofo, uh, or um, you want to flip the okonomiyaki, rather. Um, yeah, it's probably best to do it using two spatulas. It makes it a lot easier. That's what I found. But you, one is okay, too, if you only want to use one. Step seven. The spatula test. You will pat your okonomiyaki with your spatula, and if you hear a hollow sound, it's probably done. But you also want to use the corner of your spatula to test the center of your okonomiyaki to make sure it's cooked all the way through. There's nothing like wanting a savory pancake and then getting a mouthful of savory goo. All right, so they're all cooked, and we're going into the final steps. It's almost time to eat. In step eight, you want to garnish your cooked okonomiyaki. And you have several options of what you can use, but I highly recommend using at least the okonomiyaki sauce. And other toppings include the bonito, which is made from dried fish, aonori, which is seaweed, and mayonnaise. Some people use pickled ginger, but I personally don't like it on okonomiyaki. It is good though. Step nine, your okonomiyaki is done. So now you'll use your spatula to cut it into pizza-like slices and you'll cut, eat, and savor, huh? Savor? You know, that's funny because savor and savory go together. No? You know what, I don't have to explain my jokes. I am funny. I am. I know I am. No, but seriously, um, now that you've seen all the steps, I wanted you to see what it actually looks like to make real okonomiyaki. So my friends and I, we went to an okonomiyaki -ya and I, I'll just show you what it looks like. Here you go. All right. It's Mr. Young hitting it. Do your thing, Mr. Young. <laughs> <laughs> the hidden secret. The hidden secret. 
This young guy's got, he's got skills. Look at him, look at him, doing his thing. He's been here before in his heart. He's already been here. He knows. He knows. Yeah. It's one of those things, once it gets in effect, five years down the line, people will look back and say, why did I not support this? If you're looking for really great Japanese food, it doesn't get much better than okonomiyaki. Are you an okonomiyaki fan? Well, tell me about it in the comment section below. And a big special shout out and thanks to Abasa Phillips and Mr. and Mrs. Young. I love you guys. And I want to thank everybody for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.